what are some of the reasons as to why youth athletes today feel that the time has, has escaped them? I mean, I would say technology is the greatest contributor for that. And it goes back to what I was saying earlier about this idea of, and you just kind of mentioned it yourself, we are, we struggle as a society to be present. We're really trying to maximize the use of our days. And what that leads to a lot of times is people not being present. They're not, their head and their feet are in two different places, right? So, um, and it makes us less effective, unfortunately, because if I'm sitting here with you having this discussion and I'm thinking about the 50 things that I have to do after this, I'm not contributing as much to this discussion as I could be. If I'm here with you present having this discussion, then at the end of it, move on to the next task. And then at the end of that task, I move on to the next task. I'm going to be way more effective and productive. The biggest challenge with that is it's about mindfulness, right? It's about the ability to be present in the moment and to experience the moment. And so, again, technology gives us this this false sense of being able to be, well, it doesn't give us a false sense. I guess it really does help us be faster with things. But then what it does is it's like, oh, well, now there's a computer to help me do that. So I should be able to get it done in half the time, which means I should have the other half the time to do something else, which then means I can move on to my next task and my next task. So our student athletes, I think, feel oftentimes like they're just on this treadmill that keeps moving forward through life. You know, it's not spinning around, keeping them in the same place ever. They come here to my office, they leave here, they have to go to the trainer, they have to do treatment, and then they go to practice, and then they go to class, and then they go eat dinner, and then they go study, and then they go to bed, and then they wake up and they do the same thing the next day. The only way really to, to kind of train that or to stop that cycle is something that then, because we've created this situation, is a very uncomfortable for most of us, which is to take time to meditate each day, to take time to be grateful each day, to take time to be purposeful and focused with which, you know, with the, the way we go throughout our day. Um, that is a tool or a strategy that we use with a lot of athletes and teams on campus, whether it's taking time to do visualization, whether it's taking time to do breathing for relaxation, um, whether it's using biofeedback, again, kind of just to get them to understand the connection between their mind and their body, whatever it might be, um, that's the best way to sort of train away that effect and keep them get them better at being in the present moment but the problem is because of where all of us are it's a really uncomfortable experience it's difficult to train i mean i i will talk to our athletes often and say gone are the days where you can just clear the mechanism and not be thinking about anything it's not it doesn't work like you're gonna be thinking about something unless you go you know train in Nepal as a monk or something like that, you're likely going to be thinking about something. So let's be purpose purposeful with what you are thinking about.